How about you? I'm Hank. Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. Today we're going to try to get this old road grader. You know, it's been forgotten about. It's been sitting here in the woods. Will it start? Let's find out. Brando! All right. <laughs> I got my buddy Brando with me, the master mechanic, right? So this is an old Galleon T400. And the guy said it actually ran when he parked it. And so we'll check the fluids in it. We'll, we'll see what it looks like up top here. And see if we can't get this bad boy fired up. Supposedly all we've got to do is put jumper cables on it. Wait. Hopefully, yeah. I mean, that, that's, that's an allegedly, right? <laughs> allegedly. Um, allegedly. So, all right, let's check it out. All right, here's the... It's going to be fun. It's going to be a lot of... Uh, I mean, it's got nest in here. It's got some rust. So I hope that the rats haven't chewed through the any of the wiring. So we'll see. There's a battery in it. And, well, just a little boo-boo on the radio. I think that's like our, our ECM <laughs> on the John Deere 310G right there, right? All right, let's check. Uh, get up here. I'm going to check the water in it, see if it's got any water in it. Hey, what's that? Bone dry? Is that, what, they, <laughs> is that what they say? Bone dry. Bone dry. Just a little bit of rust on the top here. All right, let's look at some more stuff here. Like Around to the other side of the engine. and <laughs> well, We got a... That's, I guess that's a brake line maybe yeah. come off right See, it's here. all right, though, because it's it's broken here, but it's also broken here. So, oh, well, yeah. so, so this side doesn't yeah, have any brakes. Kind of, so it's, it's, it's equaled it's, out. Yeah, yeah. yeah You're just going to turn in circles? Yeah, that's right. We got the right. proportioning valve so, perfect. Yeah. So let's check the... All right. Well, it's got oil it's in it. It's got oil in it. Yeah, it's got oil in it. That's the bonus. That is a bonus. It's got a fairly new alternator, so at one point it was fairly well taken care of. They were looking after it. Also, I like this. They've got the high-performance NASCAR heat wrap <laughs> on the exhaust manifold yeah, also. Yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what this thing's got. All right. There's your lever. It's got some more weeds in here. What, what you hit, Fred? Your control levers, your brake. This don't work no more. We got the Komatsu 31P here to kind of give us a place to get our tool toolbox in here. Hey, but if it cranks. But if it cranks. <laughs> you know, you get down this deep in the woods, you think you're trespassing, which reminds me of my buddy's Eric's channel. Outdoors with Eric, he's got some trespassing videos if you want to go check that out on his channel. But hopefully we get this thing cranked up here and then come back and have a, at least we'll get it cranked so we can get it onto a low boy, uh, which will not be in this video. We've got a friend that's got a, a transport if we can get it running, get the tires pumped up on it, then we'll take it back to uh, my father-in-law's place and he will uh, fix all the hoses on it and, w and whatever else needs to be fixed. Yeah, I think we'll get it running. And if you like videos like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We'll take this old battery out and put some ones that's got some juice in it. I hope. <laughs> Yeah. 
So I want to give you guys an update on the John Deere 310. That's the backhoe that we tried to crank uh, a couple videos ago. We actually took the ECM, got it sent off, going to have it reprogrammed. So once I get that ECM back, we'll pop it in that 310 yeah. and we will see if that fixes it. You're, you're, the comments that you guys left on that video was really kind of helped us troubleshoot that. So we appreciate yeah. it. And the same thing on this one. Uh, obviously, I don't know if this thing's going to crank yet or not. But if it does not crank, you know, your comments really helped us troubleshoot the, the 310. So hopefully your comments in this video will help us troubleshoot this thing and we'll get back to it. And they won't only help us, but they'll help everybody later on down the road too. So keep that in mind. All right, last time... Last time we used a stick. Yeah, you, that, need, you need your stick. We, we need a we need fuel gauge. Anybody got a fuel gauge? <laughs> All right, here we go. Fuel gauge. All right. I don't know if Tim drank it, but he said all it needs is put some fuel in it. Uh, it ain't got much in it. Well, something's happening. All right, so we're gonna try the liquid wrench and the. We brought some diesel here. version of the fuel shutoff solenoid. Yeah, I think so. I don't know where the key is. It's right here. It's right here. Yeah, you gotta climb up in there, big boy. Yeah, good luck, right? <laughs> uh, it's not gonna move either way. I'm surprised that it doesn't have a Meister key. Key and a push yeah, well, it's got a push button, yeah. and it's got uh, it's got an ignition key, but I don't see a master key anymore. If they're about out of that, I got some more to. I my... think that's got all she gonna she needs. So, I'm just gonna take some. Yeah. Looks like to get it in there. <laughs> Gotta put this fuel cap on it. <laughs> okay, couple of levers. Couple levers. Yeah. That cut off. Because I don't know anything about graders. All right. All right, here we go. The button is hard as a rock. <laughs> I don't think we're getting anywhere there. So, how tough is it going to be to get the button out of the front hole? I didn't pay attention to that. It's rusted in. Yes. Yes. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta move that, the rats home. The rats gonna come back tonight and wonder what happened. Yeah. yeah, it's moving. I don't know if it's got a nut, but it's moving. So what we're gonna try to do is take this whole cover off here. Uh, we got one more bolt to get off here and then we'll just try to hot wire this thing basically let's see if we can get it this way but while we're doing that you got your left mold board your scar fires your accessories so this is just kind of outlining the levers power shift side shift leaning wheel and something else on this side maybe one of you greater operators can tell me what this lever is for but you know hydraulic steering and then of course the levers on this side I know absolutely nothing about road graders except the fact that they turn our dirt roads smooth. So it's going to be pretty cool to see. If we, man, I hope we get this thing cranked up. Now, from what I understand, Galleon was bought by Komatsu back in maybe the 80s, somewhere around there. I don't know what year it was. But Galleon, there used to be a saying, all roads lead to Galleon because they, they were like the industry standard in road graders for a while. And then... Um, you know, as economic times affected everybody, they ended up going and getting bought by Komatsu, who who dropped the name and then they reintroduced the name uh, uh, again. So, all right, here we go. We got a 
I got a 10. Uh, let's see, I think that's a 10. Not 11 millimeter. Right. Let's see what's on. Oh, hold on a second, Brandon. There you go. Okay, so it's got just a regular old starter switch. Right. Which is indeed. Here we go. We're going to turn the key. The Bendix isn't engaging. Uh-uh. Got a hammer. Uh-oh. Hi. When the key don't work, get a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Now, a lot of times when you have the starter not engaging like that, tap it with a hammer because it gets frozen sometimes. And a lot of times you'll see some that have uh, that have the paint removed in a in a very specific spot, oh. <laughs> and that's the hammer spot. Made it again. So let me, I got a disclaimer here. We are not mechanics, okay? <laughs> so we just understand principles. Need the key. Need the key. Need the key. <laughs> what you doing, Brandon? Trying to find a hammer. <laughs> Just a finger starter. I don't think that it's any different. So we know that the Bendix is not engaging, right? So we're okay. pretty sure this wire is what engages it. So we're going to take this off, connect it to the wire that goes straight to the battery, and try it that way. Man, I hope we get this thing cranked up. This will be the daggone second video where we can't get nothing to start. <laughs> you know, I will say this though. Well, I'm not investing any money in, in trying to get this thing to crank up if it don't crank in this video. So. All right. Well, I know. I, I, I was trying to, I was trying to turn this. Okay. So we think, we think, you know, we beat it with a hammer and all that. that we're going to try to take that wire that runs the Bendix, and we're going to try to just cross that and see if we can't see if that don't work, and then we'll go from there. All right. Go ahead. Let's see. If, let's see if it's. Oh, here we go. Ah. Hold your mouth right. Hey! Yeah! See this Woo! Oh, come on, man. Ah. Bring a leak.
All right, so we got, there's no water in it. The belts are missing. We've got a hydraulic leak up front. So we're gonna cut this thing off. But, but we're happy that the engine runs. Try to starve it of fuel there. There you go. All else fails, just take the just take the fuel. This metal line had a hole in it. That's where you saw all the hydraulic fluid earlier. All right, now that the thing's cranked, what's going to happen is we're going to take off some of the, the hoses here and some lines and just take us back. Like I say, the, the, belt, the belt is missing off the pulleys in the front of the engine. And uh, so we're just going to do that. We're, we tried to air up this tire. It ain't working. Oh, yeah. And so we got a buddy that's got a transport that will bring his tractor trailer out here and get it uh, um, loaded up on that. So then we can get it back to my father-in-law's place and uh, actually get the get it in operating condition so anyway hey we're batting we're batting 500 on the will it start videos right so we, we couldn't quite get the couldn't quite get the john deere 310 to crank but oh, that's we, willie mays hayes yeah that's right so as long as you're batting 500 i think you'll be all right but hey listen as always there's gonna be this little white circle pop up over here if you click on that that'll take you to our subscribe page underneath that is the video of the john deere 310 go watch that one we're actually going to try to get that thing fixed here in, in a couple of weeks so i hope you guys enjoy that go back and watch for updates on the hamiltonville farm channel you guys take care we'll catch you on the next one